we're doing guys and welcome back to Phil Sinclair's Paranormal Investigations. Tonight is a special one for me, it's my old school which I used to attend many years ago. It is now abandoned, it's been left to ruin and when I heard that you know this place was available to investigate I've literally jumped at the chance of coming here and come to investigate because when I was younger there was this ghost story of a white lady what used to haunt the school and the clock tower above so I'm going to try if I, if I can make contact with this white lady to, to validate any story number of claims people see the white lady in the school the building is must be over 100 years old maybe more so it's literally left to ruin and abandon please I can't stress this enough please note that I am not here to trash things, I'm not here to damage things. I'm, I've treated this building with the utmost respect. Okay, I'm sad, as many other people are, that the building has come to this. But, you know, I'm gonna treat this with the utmost respect. No idea what that noise is, but it's freaking me out. Okay, let's just get to it. Let's have a little walk around. Is anyone in here other than myself? Please make yourself known. I believe it's only me inside here. So, I do not mean you any disrespect being here. Oh, fuck. Dangerous stuff, this guy. So, I do not recommend anybody come and copy what is being seen here. I'm doing this because I'm mad and I'm a weirdo. But this used to be my school. And it's left to this. I used to walk these corridors every day and it still has the same smell. It literally has the same smell. The smell has not gone away. It's still got that old schooly smell. I'm here alone. I do not mean you any harm. My name is Phil. There's been reports of a white lady that is said to haunt this building. If you can do anything, I would be so grateful if you could. What I will be doing is I will be using a series of devices to try and make contact with you. Okay? So you talk as you would normally would. And I will see if I, well, I will see if the devices can talk to you. Okay. Look at the state of it in here. So my first device I will use is I will use the EMF meter to see if any spikes. We're looking for now, looking for any EMF spikes in the air, electrical magnetic fields. The current reading is none. So what we're looking for is any spikes here. Would the white lady that I said to home here? Could you make yourself fucking hell? Make yourself known? Could you walk towards me? I don't mean you any disrespect, okay? Please, tell, if you could tell me your name, anything at all. So, any spikes? Nothing spiking as of yet.
Please come forward to me, please. No smiles. Please, if you hear the sound of my voice, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. If any entity is here, I welcome you to come forward to me. So the power is out in here, so this is literally not picking any traces of EMF, so I'm just taking a minute in here. So we're going to use the SP7 spirit box. Again, people who are not familiar with this, this is a spirit box. This sweeps radio, fre radio frequencies at such a fast rate that clear words should not come through here. Um, you know, and if we do get a clear word that is an anomaly, which we could continue consider, sorry, being paranormal, okay? This is searching radio frequency at such a fast rate, and it's said that spirits can manipulate this and talk to us through. So we will try this now and see if we get any contact coming through. Spirits of this school, or spirits, anyone, I'm asking politely for you to speak, okay? Can you tell me your name? Did I just say help, 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 something? Help, do you need help? Can you confirm it if you need help? Are you trapped in this school? You need help. I can try and help you. You need help. Talk to me, please. Dying. Dying. Are you dying? Edward? Edward, are you here? Are you okay, Edward? Or any spirit, are you okay? Do you, do you, is it, do you need help? Talk to me, I can try and help you, but there's a message you want me to send over. The message you want me to pass on to anybody. Why are you still here? A lady's voice came through then. Okay, I've been back to the this place. It's not changed since I was here. Helpful. Don't fall or something with that side. Careful. I'm being careful, thanks for your concern. If there's someone I should be careful of. 
Mas é assim o rolinho de volante. E... Can you talk again, please, in a nice, loud, clear voice? Talk again. Is there a female here? Uh, I am? No, I am something. What? Do something. Can you throw something in this room? Now, I'm not just saying this. That said, in a male voice, please go. Let me know what you think, guys, but that said, please go. Why do I need to go, Spirit? What's going to happen to me if I don't go? I'm on my own in here. I like to hope there's no other human beings inside here. Why do I need to go? Please go. Am I disturbing your slumber? What I want to do now, Spirit, is I'm going to use another method of communication. Go again. Okay, let's see if we can actually get something concrete here. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use another method of communication, okay? I'm going to try and capture, record your voice, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to talk into this red light right here. Would the spirit please identify themselves, please? Can you tell me your name? I believe someone's been telling me to go. Why do I need to go? Is there anybody other than myself here with me? Call that back. Tell me your name. I believe someone's been telling me to go. Why do I need to go? Is there anybody other than myself here with me? I was there to write weird band. I just heard a weird little bang in distance there and I didn't like that one bit. Could you make a bang again for me, please? Could you throw an object, anything light? After three, do something right now, okay? One, two, Three. So it's got like a somebody screaming or something. There's believed to be a ghost in the clock tower of this building. Are you that person? And why do you reside in the clock tower?
I will ask again for any spirit around me to talk into this red light and to answer my questions, okay? Is there a haunting inside the clock tower of this building? Are you male or female? And why do I need to leave? I believe that there's someone here. I believe that I've got the attention of somebody. Is this you? Don't be scared. Just talk to me as you would normal, normally talk. Just wind that back. I hope you're enjoying the video, guys. Now we're playing. Are you male or female? Is there a haunting inside the clock tower of this building? The haunting. Is there a haunting inside the clock tower of this building? Yeah, something there. Yeah, yeah, so we've got a definite yes came through then. It's only a very whisper. Is there a haunting inside the clock tower of this building? Yes. It sounds like, yeah. Yeah. Inside the clock tower of this building. Yeah. Like a sigh or something. Don't be scared. Just talk to me as you would normally talk. Talk to me as you would normal, normally talk. Something that I can't make out. Okay, guys. So EVPs don't have to be actual clear words. Theorists say that. It could be a spirit really screaming as loud as I can and the, the, the digital recorder will just briefly capture that. Um, just got a spike here in my then off camera. Damn. Yeah, they say that, you know, that they could be literally screaming from wherever they are in the, on the other side and, or, you know, wherever spirits go. And they're literally screaming the answer to me and it comes through on the recording as a whisper because you know it, it you know it, it just think very faintly picks it up i mean i could be wrong you know i'm not there's no experts in this game but we only can you know we only can assume what evidence we're getting i heard personally um yeah yes yeah the first time you know let me know guys what you think you know and we'll see but great spirit box as well before but what i want to do 
right now. That's brilliant that you've answered my question, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the floor now. Okay. What I want you to do now, Spirit, is I want you to use all the energy that is available to you. And I want you to throw something. I want you to move something. Or just talk to me. Let's see so the camera can see. Use all my energy. I'm alone inside a haunted school. Touch me. Manifest. Throw something. Let us know you're here. This device in my hand will detect that you're here and it will detect a presence. Okay. I believe there is someone acknowledging my presence in this building. I used to be a pupil student in this school. How do you feel? How does it make you feel seeing the building in ruins like this? This beautiful building. Can imagine you'll be pretty upset. Maybe this damage is heightening paranormal activity. If you're angry, you let me know you're angry, okay? I'm angry too. But this is life, as you will know. But you have chose to remain here. 
You haven't gone on to wherever you go. You have chose to stay inside here. Was this a beloved building of yours, okay? You guys will have heard that, I'm sure. There's bangs and stuff in the distance. This is just only part of the building, you know. Maybe these bangs are happening elsewhere, which is unaccessible. I don't know what that rumbling is. This is madness, guys. Can you show yourself behind me? Manifest now in any form you can. Whistling, something, screaming, laughing. You let me know, guys, if you see any anomaly which you think is quite strange. I do apologise about my walking. There's just literally glass everywhere.
absolutely terrible that this building has come to this. It saddens me. It absolutely saddens me. But it is how the way things go. I would like to thank any spirit for making contact with me. That is a brave thing to do. Thank you so much. Okay, I believe that I may have got some evidence I can take into consideration. I thank you greatly. And I apologise that this building has been left to this. I can imagine you will be Very saddened. All the pupils, students in and out over the years, seeing this, come to this. All the people who've been to this school who are no longer with us, they will be devastated to see it like this. Okay? Thank you so much. Okay, guys. I need to. I'm gonna have to get out of here now because it's it, it, it's quite sad and it's quite um, and, and sad and scary at the same time. So pretty weird. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. Please hit like. Please find me on Facebook, Phil Sinclair's Paranormal Investigations. Keep hearing things about me. Please, you know, whatever. Please, I urge people do not copy what you're seeing here. Do not. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. I'm on here because I'm pretty much insane and very strange. So, and I, you know, and a paranormal interest to the hell out of me. So that's what I'm here. But please, you know, please do not copy. Do not come here. Please, it's very unsafe. So, but thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And you know, more more investigations to come. Hopefully, throw you a live investigation shortly over on Facebook. So, thanks for watching this, guys. And please let me know what you think may have been captured here okay night night guys thanks a lot